Welcome to the third section, uh, to day uh, 15 of the Love Letters Through March. And we've looked at the, the de definition of God as being love and his demonstration that he's given us through the giving of his son Jesus. But also we need to look at the demands of love. When someone declares to you that they love you with an everlasting love and would lay their lives down for you, that demands a response. And in fact, there is still a command that we need to follow, a law, if you like, of being in love when we are in Christ. It's not a law like you nitpickingly keep or not keep. It's about like taking a trip to another country and getting inside the aeroplane and then you allow the law of aerodynamics to lift you high because that's the environment that you now live. And in the same way, when we're in Christ, there is a command of Christ, a law of Christ that we must keep. So let's look at day 15, John 15, verses 12 and 17. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask for in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command, love each other. That's John 15 verses 12 to 17. I'll see you for day 16.